Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. We are still continuing our IMO Problem 1 and Problem 4 playlist and in this video we will be solving the second IMO 1960 which was held at Romania, Problem 4. So in the previous video we solved Problem 1 and in this video we will be solving Problem 4. So actually this type of questions is familiar to you because it is a geometric construction. So actually we've seen this type before in the Problem 4 of this first IMO actually and we we discussed that like actually uh, in, like in the old IMOs we had lots of geometric constructions but not anymore in the new IMOs okay however like this type of questions is really nice as we will see like in this video so what are we waiting for let's get started Okay, so the problem statement is as follows. Construct triangle ABC given HA and HB, which are of course the altitudes from A and B. So now like we know the values of the altitude from A and the altitude from B. And we know actually the median, which is MA, of course the median from A. So basically they've given us three values, the value of HA, HB and MA, and they want us like to uh, find a way to construct triangle ABC with like uh, the, these three uh, values HA, HB and MA. Okay, so as we agreed uh, before, like we don't immediately start by finding a way to construct. First of all, we just like assume that we have such a triangle and for example, draw the altitudes, the medians and conclude some like some stuff and then uh, this stuff like will help us to uh, find a way to construct the triangle. Okay, so first of all, let's actually assume that we have such a triangle ABC and let's like uh, like draw a diagram for that. So let's assume this is our triangle. All right, so this is a simple triangle. Let's say A, B, and C. Okay, and now let's draw First of all, the attitude from A. This is the attitude from A. Let's say like this is uh, B. And let's draw actually the median also. So let's say like this is the midpoint. And let's draw the median. All right, so let's say it's here actually. Okay, and let's call it M. And let's also draw the altitude from B. Let's say something like that. All right, let's say this is E. Okay, so of course this is a right angle and this is as well. Okay, and of course like this is the median, that means that MC is the same as MB. All right, so now actually, like we need to find a way like to link these like AD, AM and BE to find a way like to construct triangle ABC using these three or the values of these three things. All right, so first of all, like let's try, uh, actually like it makes sense to start like with AD and AM because like we, or, we, we already have like such a triangle, nice triangle ADM. And in fact, like it's really easy to like uh, construct these things because take a look, if we know the value of AM and the value of the length of AD, then we can of course like construct triangle ADM. And that's really simple. Of course, remember, we can on only use a compass and a ruler like uh, to construct such triangle, like in our constructions. So in order to construct a triangle ADM, which is really simple, all what we need to do uh, is the following. First of all, we bring like our ruler and uh, draw a segment with a segment AM. Of course, we know the length is MA. So first of all, like we start by determining some point A and then we take our ruler and uh, like take a distance M, M, A and we draw point M. So now we have two points A and M. Okay, perfect. Now we need to determine point D and that's actually not difficult. So we know that this angle is a right angle, right? That means that this point, like we always, as we mentioned uh, in our previous construction problem, we always like tend to turn uh, like the, the given uh, things that, for example, we know like this is an altitude, we turn it uh, into something we can draw with a ruler and a compass. So that's why we always like try 
to like uh, turn this information into uh, like some circles. That's why, like how can we turn this right angle into a circle? Well, that's simple. That means that if we draw the circle AM with diameter AM, like D must lie on this circle, right? And this is really simple to draw. We take the midpoint here uh, of AM and we bring our compass and draw such a circle like with diameter AM. So now we know that D must lie on this circle, but where exactly? Well, this is really simple. Remember, we know that AD is HA, we know the value. So that means we can also draw another circle from A uh, with radius HA. And of course, like the, the intersection of these two circles, like the circle AM and the circle uh, with radius uh, HA and the center A, uh, they will meet at point D. Okay, so now it's perfect. We know now that uh, we know actually uh, have our triangle ADM. Now all what we need to do is to construct C and B. Of course, we haven't used uh, like that B, E, S, H, B yet. So of course we need to use that. Okay, so first of all, actually, let's draw the circle uh, with diameter AM. All right, so I'm going to draw it with another color. Okay, of course, it must pass through D. All right, so let's say that this is our circle with diameter AM. And of course, as we mentioned, like in order to draw D, uh, we just need to construct the circle with uh, center A and radius HA. And we will get our point D, which is the intersection of these two circles. Okay, so now we have ADM. Okay, so now actually, how can we like uh, translate this, uh, like the, knowing the value BE, which is HB into Drawing, like finding a way to construct C and B. Okay, of course, uh, I, I, I want to tell you one thing, which is that if we find a way to construct C, then we're done because all what we need to do to find B is like reflect C over M. Of course, that can be done with a ruler. And then like if we reflect C over M, then we will get B. All right, so let's like aim to construct C. So how can we construct C? Well, actually, uh, like try to post the video, try to find your own way uh, in order to, to find actually this, this point C to construct it. And actually the, the point, the magical point that will make us a, uh, able to find the point C is this point, like on our circle. Okay, so why is that? Let's, let's take a look. Let's define this point as point, let's say B, E, F, okay, F. Okay, so why this is point is a magical point? Well, remember, we know that uh, any point that is on this circle, the red circle, uh, like have a right angle, like A, F, M is 90 degrees, right? Okay, then that means that we can simply draw this segment and have a right angle, right? Okay, perfect. Okay, now I want you to take a look B, E, C, and here we have a midpoint, uh, like M is the midpoint of B, C. That means that F is the midpoint of E, C, right? Because like uh, these two are parallel, like B, E, and M, F, they are parallel. And of course, that means if we know the value of B, E, which is H, B, then we know the value of M, F, right? It's simply H, uh, H, B over 2, right? Okay, so actually we know this. The value of this is simply HB over 2 MF. And actually now we're done. Why, why are we done? Well, that's simple. How can we construct point F? Like we don't want immediately to construct point C. However, this is really simple. We know that C lies on the line DM. So we can simply draw a line DM. We just need to find a way in order to draw this side. So if we can find a way to determine F, then we are done. And how can we determine F? How can we construct F? Well, remember, uh, F lies on this circle, the red circle, which we already have. And since we know the value of MF, the length of MF, then we can simply draw a circle with center M and radius HP over two. And ta-da, now we'll get our point F. Okay, and if we get our point F, so now we've drawn F, guess what? We just extend AF and DN and we get our point C. 
and then we reflect C over M and we get our next point B and simply now we have like all our points A, B, C and we are done. However, I would like to mention something that uh, take a look here. Like when we want to construct F, uh, like we will draw this circle, right? Like MF, uh, sorry, uh, with center M and radius HP over two. However, like this will intersect the red circle in two points. So one here and uh, let's say a one here. That means, uh, of course, because we have two choices, that means that actually we will have two triangles, A, B, C, and another like triangle A, let's say B prime, C prime. And of course, like both of them uh, satisfy the conditions of the problem. So like that means actually, uh, when we construct triangle A, B, C, we have two triangles like A, B, C that are available. Uh, okay, so now actually let's like raise everything and like summarize the problem again. Okay, so our construction algorithm goes as follows. Okay, so first of all, we determine some point A. Let's say here is our point A. Then we bring our ruler and like measure a distance MA uh, away from A, okay, to get our point M. Okay, let's say here is our point M. Okay, then uh, as we mentioned, we'll, we'll simply draw the circle with diameter AM. Okay, so something like that. Okay, I hope it goes fine. All right, something like that. Okay, now we draw another circle with uh, center A and uh, radius HA. Actually, we don't need like to draw it. We just like need to determine the point of intersection. So we bring our compass, we put like uh, here at A, and then uh, we measure H A, and we simply like see where they intersect. Let's say, for example, right here. Okay, so now we have like our point D. All right, of course, this is a right angle. All right, then we draw another circle with center M and radius HB over two, so half of HB. And also we don't need to draw the circle, we just need to find the intersection, right? Actually, we will have two intersections, one here and one here. So let's just pick one for now. Okay, so we will just pick this one here. Okay, so let's say it's here. All right, so let's say it's uh, F, point F. And now actually we are done. We just need to extend AF. First of all, let's extend DM and AF. So this is our first point C, and then we just reflect C over M to get our point B. All right, so something like that. and. And now actually our, we are done because we have our triangle ABC constructed with just a compass and a ruler. All right, so uh, now we finished this problem. In the next video, we'll be solving the third IMO problem, f uh, problem one, of course. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next video.